Thank you, Juan Nakama. I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Choices of Stories You Play, Royal Romance, Book 1, Chapter 18, To Be a Princess. And that entry music is always so loud versus every other book. It's the night of the Coronation Ball. As the ball begins, you wait in line behind the other suitors as Prince Liam receives his gifts. Thank you, Lady Penelope, for this, uh, gem-crusted poodle figure. I have the matching Lady Poodle, so now you can always think of me when you look at it. I'm sure I could think of no one else. Further back in line, you and Hannah wait for your turn. Penelope and her poodles. Well, it's hard to know what one should get for a crown prince. And I had to take talk my parents out of sending a full-grown bull elephant as my family's coronation gift. I thought that would be far too awkward to bring into a palace. I feel like my audio is a little low, but how are you doing? Do you feel ready? I'm ready to get engaged to the prince. Party with my friends. Get some alone time with you! Mm. Engage the prince, why not? If anyone has the greatest claim on Prince Liam's heart, it's you, Riley. As Penelope moves forward, Madeline greets the prince. Let me just double check her. Uh, recording. Sorry about this brief moment of interruption, but I want to make sure... Aha! So it's actually low. There we go. As Penelope moves forward, Madeline greets the prince. Prince Liam, congratulations on the most momentous day. Thank you, Lady Madeline. Please accept this small and humble token of my house's admiration. Madeline hands him a small velvet box. Liam opens it. Diamond cufflinks. An elegant and sophisticated gift befitting your house. I hope you wear them in good health. You're too generous, Lady Madeline. Nonsense, Liam. You deserve all this and more. Much more. As always, Lady Madeline, you're far too kind. When you're in line, Olivia walks up and whispers. I know it was you. Huh? That stupid note. I'm sure you were behind it, but don't think I can be intimidated so easily. Olivia? I never sent anything. If I wanted to intimidate you, I'll do it in person. I never sent anything. Play dumb all you want. It won't help you win. Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Riley, I... I... I actually believe you. What's going on? You can tell me. Just forget about it. I can handle it on my own. It was probably Madeline. Olivia steps in front of you, just as Madeline curtsies and moves forward. With one last look over her shoulder, Olivia approaches the prince. Prince Liam, how lovely to see you here. Where else would he be? Olivia holds out her hand, and he kisses the back of it. Lady Olivia, it's always a pleasure. I hope you enjoy the gift I have selected for your coronation. Olivia hands Liam an ornate golden box. He opens the lid. A cactus? Olivia? You probably don't remember, but a long time ago when we were children, someone teased me and said I was as prickly as a cactus. And you said that you loved cactuses because they were tough and no one messed with them. I remember. Of course I remember. I wanted to give you this to thank you for always looking out for me. Congratulations on your quorum, Liam. Coronation, Liam. You're going to be the best king that Cordonia has ever seen. I wouldn't say that in front of my father. <laughs> of course not. Thank you, Lady Olivia. I'll treasure, the, treasure this cactus always. You honor me, Your Highness. Olivia leans forward and kisses Liam on the cheek before moving off. That wasn't too bad. Actually, not, not bad. 
As Olivia leaves, you step forward. Lady Riley. I should let him kiss my hand. Prince Liam takes your hand and brings it to his lips, kissing the back of it tenderly as he stares into your eyes. Greetings, Your Highness. I also have a gift for you. Lady Riley, your presence is more than a gift enough. But I can't wait to see what you'll give me. <laughs> I can say something right now, but I'm not. I'm just not. Okay, I am the best night of your life. Meet me in the bedroom in five minutes. No, <laughs> 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 You give Liam your handwritten poem. What's this? A poem. Prince Liam unfurls it and reads. Prince Liam came and swept me away. Took me to Cordonia, where I hoped to stay. With teeth so straight and white, his smile was ever so bright. Max Mel Maxwell helped me with some of it. With laughter and hope... He's more than a trope. His caring spirit captured my heart, and so I hope we never part. Do you like it? I love it. You are amazing, Riley. You always know how to make me smile. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Immensely. I never knew you had so many talents. I guess there's still more for you to learn about me. I look forward to learning everything. And now I regretfully had better attend to the next lady in line. But thank you, Lady Riley. Liam bows as you curtsy, looking back at him one last time. You move forward in the procession. Bedroom, five minutes. Bell, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> A short time later, the doors to the grand ballroom of the palace are thrown open, and you make your entrance. <clears throat> there we go. You look so beautiful, Riley. The prince won't be able to keep his eyes off you. <laughs> he might like the way she looks, but when it comes to choosing his future queen, he knows who be able to handle ruling it aside. Olivia. My first act as queen would be banishing you. This would make the second time she said that, by the way. I'd actually rather date you. Oh! Hmm. Boy, this is deja vu, isn't it? This is, this is where it all started. May the best woman win. I'm sure I will. Just then, the trumpets sound, the herald announces the prince's arrival. He's headed this way. Riley, may I have the stance? <laughs> Good fuck, Olivia. Good fuck. Oh, <laughs> you want to <laughs> dance with me? I'd love to. In your face, Olivia. <laughs> I'm ready to do a lot more than dance. I told you, bedroom, five minutes. I'd love to. I was hoping you'd say that. Prince Liam takes your hand and whisks you out onto the dance floor of the grand ballroom. As the orchestra plays, he leads you in a waltz around the room, your gown swirling as you glide through the steps. You've been practicing. We've had so many balls, it'd be strange if I hadn't learned anything by now. Of course. I forgot how long the social season is. And I think a few months ago, I didn't even know the first steps to a waltz. And now, no one would ever know that you weren't born into this life. I hope you never have caused or regret coming here. Why would you say that? Well, so much has happened, and... As the song winds down, Prince Liam's hands linger on your waist, his eyes searching yours. I need to talk to you. Is something wrong? Ahem. <clears throat> Prince Liam... May I be a so bold to cut in? Oh, of course not. We'll talk later? Yes. 
As Olivia and Liam coast away, you find your way off the dance floor and spot a familiar face. Riley! Drake, I didn't know you'd be here tonight, and in it talks, no less! Liam insisted. I guess I should congratulate you. Oh? You look exactly like one of them. I guess you are one of them now. This time tomorrow, you might be the future queen, and that our lives are going to go in very different directions. Drake, if I'm chosen to be the Princess Bride, I'll still be me. Looking at you now, it's hard to believe that. This place has a way of changing people, and some of us like the girl you used to be. You know that, right? I promise, I'm still the same Riley. If I get too cocky, just remind me that the first time we met, I was taking out the garbage and waiting tables. Feels like so long ago. Now, can't believe it's only been a few months. Yes, but after everything that's happened, it feels like once upon a time. Spare me, Vinti. Fairy tales are for kids. I suppose you're right. Life here isn't all sparkles and fairy godmothers. I'm glad you're seeing it for what it is. It's nice to get a chance to talk to you tonight. Riley, I... What is it? I... There you guys are! Ho ho ho! Drake dressed up! As then a new waltz begins, couples pair up and take to the dance floor. You see Madeline whisking the prince off for the set. Keep smiling, you southern belle. <sighs> hmm, Liam is taken. Who should I dance with? Ooh. I get a choice. Hmm. This one's tough! Shit! I like all three. They're awesome. They're awesome people. Um... Damn. Maxwell, I feel like you're getting rewarded out of all this. Hannah is being shit on, and Drake will still be the same person. You know what? Let's pull some... Let's pull some gasps out of the audience. Hannah, may I have this dance? Oh, of course. Taking Hannah's hand, the two of you glide onto the dance floor. You've become quite the dancer. Hannah, that's nothing compared to you. I'm just following your lead. I've always enjoyed leading. Hannah raises her hand, and you twirl under it. You're very good at it. Thank you. Honestly, I was hoping I'd get a chance to dance with you tonight anyway. I'm gonna miss times like these. I'm never letting you go. No, Jake. Don't go. Don't let go. <laughs> I'm gonna miss them too. I'll try to come visit as soon as I can. You'd better, or I'll come over there and break down your parents' door. There's a gate, and guards, and you might have a difficult time of it. Technically, I'm the queen. My security detail will take care of that. I'd never let that get in the way. As the song ends, you and Hannah reluctantly part. Thank you for the dance, Lady Riley. That was the most fun I've had all night. Hopefully there's more fun to come. As you come back from the dance floor and meet up with the rest of your friends, you smell something delicious as servants bring out trays of food. Hmm, ready to hit the whore's divorce table? I'd love to. Great, or fancy finger food. It'll be fun, come on. You, Maxwell, and Hannah drag Drake along towards the whore divorce table. Man, these look fancy! Think these will stack up to the appetizers we made? Only one way to find out. Pick your appetizer. Something in a cup. Something on a plate. Something in a spoon. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's, let's, let me get closer. That looks like... Pasta? 
and then there are little pieces of, of a little onion. This one looks like chicken, red pepper, and parsley. And this one looks like a piece of meat, tomato, and some sort of leaf. It's not parsley. I don't know. Basil? Maybe a bit? No, no, no. Something on a plate. Um, something, of, something on a spoon. Oh, the shrimp! Excellent choice! It did not look like shrimp! Oh, god damn it, I hate shrimp too. You take a bite. Okay. It's delicious. But nothing compared to our caviar and paprika creation. You guys still haven't really explained why you were the ones making the appetizers that day. Uh, how's Belmont personally ensures quality? Oh, a very hands-on approach to everything? They say that all the best restaurants are aligned that way. That's us. Practically a Michelin star restaurant. Well, one can't argue with the results. Yeah, and there's no one I trust more than Riley and Drake when it comes to basically anything. You did not tell Hannah about the Belmonts. Huh. Thanks, Max. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna miss you three. Miss us? Lady Riley already knows us, but tonight's my last night at court. My parents have officially called me home. I must depart tomorrow morning. That sucks! I'm really sorry to see you go, Hannah. Thanks, Drake. But hey, if this is your last night, then you've got nothing left to lose. Except my dignity. Dignity is overrated. Maxwell? I'm just saying! You know how people are always saying, party like there's no tomorrow? Well, for you, there really is no tomorrow. So, we should really party! I don't know. Come on, there must be a few things that you've been dying to do since you came here. Well, there are a few things I never checked off my list, but I don't know. This is your last chance alone with Hannah in this book. Go wild with Hannah! Lord knows I'm not sure. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> play it safe. It might be better if we play it safe tonight, with everything that's going on. Yes, you never know what's going to happen, Maxwell. It's probably better to be cautious. Fine, fine. I suppose we should probably mingle and talk to the other guests. Yes, I should let Prince Liam know that I'll be leaving. As you and your friends separate to mingle, Kiara and Penelope approach you. Uh. Lady Riley, we want to congratulate you on coming this far. It was no small feat. Oh, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the ball. So far. I've waited so long for this day. As we all have. Though you must be the most excited, Riley. Prince Liam might choose you. It's exciting, to say the least, to think that my future could wildly change on an instant. If only we were as fortunate. I'm sure something good will come your way. What are you doing next? Once the wedding is over, I'll split my time between court and my family's estate. It'll be nice to finally see my poodles again. You're... Yeah, you're wearing the poodles. I bet your poodles are extremely cute and fluffy. Let's kiss her ass because of her. She still has a choice to make. They are! Poodles are the best. I mean, I respect the other breeds, but I cannot connect with... with poodles on an emotional level. I can connect, sorry. It's great that you'll see them again. Oh, I know. I bet they've missed me. What about you, Kiara? Tresemme. <laughs> Once the wedding is over, I'll stay at court for a little while longer while searching for a position with the foreign ministry. Oh, Kiara, you'll make a great translator. 
You're not just here for life of luxury? How many languages do you actually speak? I've only ever heard English and French. Those are the dominant regional languages. But I want to hear you speak another language. Guten Tag, mi amiga, si feliz. That is German. Guten Tag. Good. German or Russian? Guten Tag, Guten Tag, Guten Tag. I think it's I think it's German. I think I'm correct. We should visit some of the other ladies before the coronation ceremony begins. It was really nice talking to you, Lady Riley. Good luck tonight. Thanks. You look around the room, searching for your friends, and you spot Drake heading out the door alone. I wonder what Drake was going to say earlier. This could be my only opportunity to talk to him alone and find out. Oh, look! Another diamond option! Boy, Pixelberry! Will we be doing this to Maxwell and Bertrand and everybody else? The coronation is about to start anyway. You're going to see Bertrand and Maxwell hustling over to you. You can't talk to them because you need diamonds for them, too! <laughs> Maxwell? Bertrand? Is something wrong? Uh, we found something. We intercepted a courier with a letter addressed to you. Bertrand? Y you make a good postman. I'm not your personal servant. Yes, yes, technically you are now. Relax. You won't have to put up with me much longer. To both our reliefs. Now, you must really open this letter. It says it's urgent. Urgent? You take the folded letter and open it. Examine the note. You read the letter. Lady Riley, the prince will never be yours, and you will never be queen. Leave court now. Hmm, because it's interesting, because Olivia got to send a note, too, and she thought it was Riley. So we got the same note. Who sent such a mysterious note, and will it threaten your fairy tale ending? Find out in the final chapter. If they had anything, they would actually include it. Like, I know about you and Tannic. I know about your love interest between you and Drake. I know about you and Anna. I know about the fan's secret love for Maxwell. But the Pixel Bell never gave us an option. Ah, oh, I know about your secret, sordid rebellion with Bertrand and the fact that he's broke and what you're doing this for. And that you've made appetizers. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not scared by this shit. I mean, honestly, anybody that's like, "Oh my god, no! Whatever will I do?" Liam is a very intellectual, reasonable person. That I'm sure, especially with Drake and what he knows, and Drake being a friend and everything, I'm sure that people would explain things to him. But I digress. <sighs> Much to think over for these Latin th uh, next few days, huh? Until uh, next week. So, with that being said, I hope you all enjoy the content. Um, I'm going to go away for a day. I won't produce any content tomorrow um, that I'll upload. However, let's see. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday will be content days. I am thinking about streaming. <gasps> what? Some content um, outside of also normal uploads. So if you are curious at all about that, um, down in the description below, you should follow me on preferably Facebook. But I may also update Twitter with it when if I go live, how I go live, whatnot. Um, I'm not going to do Twitch, so people don't have to create Twitch accounts and shit like that. I will keep it probably strictly to YouTube. But I've been really kind of craving going and, tw and doing a stream lately. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow night. Um, who knows? But I guess we'll see. Otherwise, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Uh, you know what to do. Also, feel free to also head down to the description below where you can find my social media or if you want to support my content at all. There's a couple links for that. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next videos.